I can 3D print freely since I don't live in a box. I can. This is Dave. There's nothing in the world he loves more than 3D printing. I've often been asked, would I rather have the perfect girlfriend or the perfect 3D printer? Definitely the 3D printer. Today, he's trying out the Trinus 3D printer. I'm sorry, where was I? Trinus, a new 3D printer. Hey, bring it. These days, he's not just looking for another 3D printer. He wants something that produces quality prints, can work with a wide variety of materials, can print with multiple file formats, is reliable, and doesn't cost an arm and a leg. He's had some trying experiences, putting together printers with hundreds of parts and having to recalibrate them over and over again. Finally done. Best print. Or coping with prices that put him over the edge. Trinus has a modular structure with four identical units, which reduces its production cost. Yeah, that's it. Only 11 parts. Sorry. Okay, let's do this. With an easy-to-follow manual, you can assemble Trinus in 30 minutes. And because its mechanics are scaled down from industrial-grade machines, Trinus brings professional-level performance and precision right to your desk. Trinus isn't just a fixed package, either. You can exchange its 3D printing head for a laser engraving one. You can also equip your Trinus with a heated bed and safety enclosure, opening your printer up to PC and ABS. Now, Dave, how much do you think this costs? Well, considering the ease of assembly and attention to details all, though I'd still need to see the printed models, I'd say around $1,500. Nope. Look right. What's the catch? There's no catch. $299 on Kickstarter. Trinus uses its intuitive Pango software, which works twice as fast as other slicers. But you're not locked to that. Other software and G-Code are compatible too. Remember the time you used the high-speed setting on that other low-cost printer and ended up with a dull, messy print? Even using a higher print speed, Trinus gives you a clean, high-quality print without shaking everything off your desk. Plus, the laser head will come in handy when your best friend beats you at a game you thought you were good at. Trinus lets you print with many different filaments, including flex, wood, and aluminum, all without a jammed extruder or clogged nozzle. To help achieve that, Trinus partnered with Polymaker. With their Polymax PLA or PC Plus, you can be sure that your printed parts will be stronger and better than ever before. Ah, to you. Hi, I'm Andreas Birnik and I'm here at our labs at the National Design Center in Singapore to tell you about Creopop, a really cool 3D pen that we are working on. We came up with the idea of using light sensitive ink that is solidified by shining ultraviolet light on it. In the industry this is called photopolymers. With Creopop, you get a 3D pen without any hot parts, without any melting plastic, and without any bad smell. With Creopop, cooling pops up magically. People just love to create things. We see this all the time with artists and with designers. We also see it with kids who love coloring books, Lego and Play-Doh. Creopop is the perfect tool for anyone who wants to create their own designs in different shapes and different colors. I could have just imagined my daughter for hours messing with this. I think it's cool and that it's going to bring drawing to a whole new level. Well, you can make a drawing in 3D. You can make customized clo clothes for your doll. You can make jewelry. They're, the possibilities are endless. We have been following the space of personal fabrication for quite some time and the evolution has really been amazing. Just think about what has happened with 3D printers and 3D pens. However, there are a couple of problems specifically when you look at 3D pens. All of the pens out there melt plastic to dangerously hot temperatures. Just think about what would happen if someone gets melting plastic onto their skin or into their eyes. It would be really bad. 
In addition, you get a quite unpleasant smell when you use pens that melt plastic. It's simply not nice in a home environment. That's how we started thinking. Wouldn't it be possible to do things in a different way? Couldn't we make a 3D pen without hot plastic and without a bad smell? With Creopop, you can use some really cool ink. We have inks in many different colors, so you can create multicolor designs. We have ink that is elastic, so you can make a dress for a Barbie doll. There is magnetic ink that you can use for making fridge or whiteboard magnets. We have ink that glows in the dark if you want to make objects that radiate light in a dark room. You can use our aromatic ink to make items that smell good for your car or for your bathroom. We have got ink that changes color with temperature, so you can for example paint a teacup and see how it changes color when you pour in hot water. And since Creopop is using cool ink, we have got body paint ink to make tattoos and henna designs. I think it's freaking cool. My little daughter would just love it. Uh, I think Creopop's an extremely novel idea. It's uh, something I haven't seen before. We started working on Creopop last year, and this is what our first prototype looked like. And this is what Creopop looks like today. As you can see, we've gotten rid of the cord and we made improvements to the design. Over the next few months, we'll make further improvements to the design and to the functionality until Creopop is ready to be shipped. Do you need a much more accurate desktop 3D printer? Do you trust your 3D printer to finish your large and complex high quality jobs? Do you wish that operating and maintaining your 3D printer was much easier? After years of development and experience building many printers, we are proud to announce our three new RAISE 3D FDM printers. Meet the N1, N2, and the N2 Plus. High quality, highly reliable, and easy to use printers built to be trusted by and meet the demands of serious 3D printer users like you. The N1 features a standard build volume of 8 inches by 8 inches by 8 inches. The N2 is roomier at 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches tall. The N2 Plus doubles the build height of the N2 to 24 inches for tackling your tallest jobs. Some of the other things that I like is that the touchscreen display represents the print and the process. That percentage is illustrated really nicely through the preview of the model. Normally, the most time-consuming and complicated process is trying to organize and rename those 3D files. But with the raised 3D's N-series printers, the management of my files on their touchscreen display has been made easier and more manageable. But with the touchscreen display, you have a very clear graphic on how to operating my 3D printers. Ray's 3D printers are not only easy to use, they are also very accurate and reliable. Every printer starts with a CNC machined frame and components to ensure stable operation. The Ray's 3D printers come with a heated build plate to assure great performance with a wide variety of printed materials. All machines come standard with a removable glass build plate covered with build tack for even better performance. And the N2 and the N2 Plus are pre-aligned at the factory so that you will never need to level and adjust the print bed. The raised 3D printers are enclosed. The removable top cover can be used or removed based on the needs of your specific printing material. Our all-metal hot end can work up to 300 degrees Celsius making it ready for a wide variety of future high temperature filament. All three printer models can be upgraded to have a second extruder. With the dual extruder upgrade, you can tackle multicolored prints as well as complex prints that require dissolvable supports. Hello, I'm Maker Arm, the world's first multifunctional robotic arm that fits anywhere in your workspace. I have changeable tool heads that allow me to do some really neat stuff. 
and I can help my humans make just about anything. I can 3D print freely since I don't live in a box. I can auto level so my humans don't have to. I can make things up to 30 inches long and 10 inches tall on any flat surface. I can make high quality 3D prints with both filament and resin. But I can do a lot more than just 3D printing. I'm great at building the next big thing, like this. I can cut sheets and 3D print corners. I can pick and place sheets and panels together and create a custom PCB. I can solder, assemble components. I can even work with fellow maker arms. Voila! Here's our finished project, a custom laptop. I can be operated wirelessly on all of your devices. Plus, my humans can teach me tricks and send me remote instructions. I was made for creative people everywhere. I can make really impressive toys, canvas and fabric, and create custom invites. I can etch glass, engrave plastic and leather, carve metal, and wood. I can also plot designs. Yes, I can even decorate cakes. Another cool thing, my humans can design their own custom tool heads for me. It feels great helping my humans build their dreams, and I would love to see Maker Arms in labs, garages, and tinkering stations everywhere. That's why I'm here on Kickstarter. My makers have spent two years perfecting me and my fellow maker arms. Right now we are working prototypes and need to be manufactured so we can be on our way to all you humans. With your help, together we can make anything, anywhere. About six months ago, we decided to make the M3D Pro based on getting feedback from our existing users. So we've already gone through three iterations of design prototypes and we're almost completely done the engineering. Three months ago, we proved a lot of the important concepts like making a heated bed that uses less power, proving that it can move a lot faster, proving the benefits of higher quality and higher precision metal parts. And right now we're going through the final phases of proving the feedback system and finishing the next steps in programming. First time I ever heard about 3D printing was one of my friends printed a Ninja Warrior training hold and I thought it was really cool. The unique thing that you're getting with M3D Pro that we have not yet seen in this industry is that ability for the printer to sense many different things within itself. It has the ability to sense position, it has the ability to sense speed, it has the ability to sense temperature in five different places, and if there's a problem, it can be self-diagnosed and in almost all cases can be self-corrected. Ultimately, that gives you more time in the creative process. With 3D printing, I have right on my desk, or my granddaughters have right on their desk, if they get an idea, they can try to make that idea on a 3D printer right there. They can turn their ideas into reality. This I didn't have when I was a kid. Really, the, the greatest advancement that 3D printing could accomplish at any point in the future is ease of use, making it so that anybody can just go from an idea to creating that idea uh, within an afternoon. We've introduced this new thing that we call tutorial mode. 
Um, so what we got from our feedback from original backers was that they wanted more detailed guides so they can grow into becoming an expert user rather than having to start as an expert user. The thing I think that needs to happen for educators is speed is an issue, how fast we can turn around. So with M3D Pro, you have the ability to print a single prototype with extreme accuracy and high quality, but you also have the ability to take that prototype and print it in quantity, cover the entire print bed with uh, multiples of your model and, and produce it at volume. I am so excited for the future, not only for me, but for my daughter, to grow up being able to use her mind to create anything she wants to, thanks to a 3D printer. I've been fascinated with just the whole idea of 3D printing for quite a while now, focusing on uh, just simple things that I could print for around the house or uh, you know, toys that I could print to, to play with my kids, really just the idea uh, that I could create something myself. What's unique about the Kickstarter community is they value innovation. And what M3D is doing, um, I think many people are going to see as extremely innovative and they're going to want to be first to support it and to help nurture where this technology is going to go. They just also happen to get a printer as one of their rewards very early and at a deep discount.